I think the answer is very simple. Uh, answer is very, very, very simple. But if you want me to give you answer in a very, very Buddhist traditional way, of course I can. I can tell you, oh yes, uh, that's what Buddha said, that's what Buddhism said, so we have to follow that. And we should not doubt that, and of course everything is in permanence, and then, you know, you should, uh, you know, not fight this time, you know, let them win, or, you know, and then if you let them win, and then of course there will be no cause and effect for you, and then if you try to fight against them, if you try to be competing with them, and there's such a big uh, uh, selfishness of yourself, and that's not really kindness, that's not really compassion. Compassion. And... You know, that's what I can say, you know, like in a very traditional level. But as a teacher, I have to care about what is my student is going through. So I have to think what is the best, not what philosophy says, you know, not what our uh, taught to think, not our, what, you know, what all the teaching said, you know, all the, you know, even the Buddha himself, you know, he said that, Whatever I teach or talk about Buddhism or Dharma practice, my followers, you must adapt according to different culture, you must adapt to different kind of circumstances, and of course you must adapt in different times. So, but when, you know, I think uh, that's what Buddha said. So, from my perspective, what I think is the answer is very simple. You have to do what is necessary for yourself. You have to be competitive. You have to challenge. You must fight for your uh, uh, for your own survival. You know. Uh, you know. So I'm not saying that. You know. As a. You know. Uh, I'm not saying that we we, want, we must not fight against it. We must not try to be competitive. You know. We must do whatever is necessary. But in your mind, most importantly, in your mind, you must tell yourself one day. After all this I am going through, which is necessary for myself, not because that only me, that myself, I want to enjoy or find a security or foundation in my life. I'm doing this so that I can survive, so that I can support my family, but at the end, when I grow older, in the future, I want to benefit much as people as possible. You know, keeping that kind of intention in your mind is the book, you know, because the problem is that everybody becomes very competitive in their company, in their work, in their school, between the teachers themselves, or in all the university, you know, who, who brings the better score, who, who brings the uh, better reputation from each university, different school. But people lose their mind and their human quality when the pride is too big. So, you don't necessarily have to be full of pride, you know, you can fight for yourself, you can have, you have to compete with other people, but always tell yourself that, you know, when I grow older, you know, and then it's important that I should benefit all the sentient beings as much as possible, so that you always have this state of humbleness and the human quality and spiritual quality in yourself, so that maybe one day when you're okay with your life and balance. You always try to think that you want to benefit other people and which is really uh, uh, needed and also it really helps in our society. So whatever you do, do it, but don't lose yourself. You know, you have to win in all the different level of competing with other people, starting from school. You, you must push on whatever is necessary. But always have the kindness in your heart and always remind yourself that you want to benefit much as possible in the future so that whatever you did with all this competing with other people you, will always, you can always find the possibility to transform all that experience to benefit all the uh, people that will need your help so you wish you can do much better how does that sound? <laughs>